Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Limby Designs Obliviate. I'm going to stamp it with silver. I started off with Peel Ease as my base coat, and here is Limby Designs, and this one is Obliviate. It is a beautiful, beautiful polish. It's pink, and, and I know you can see that, and it's got scattered hollow, and I know you can see that, but it also has like some shifting purple shimmer in there that is just mind-blowing it is gorgeous now this polish I think would look great on long or short nails and since I'm sporting shorties you're gonna get to see it on short nails today I love this one and the camera is so not gonna do it justice because you know they just don't some polishes are just so hard to capture on film I have gone in with my first and second coat and let me tell you the formula on this was a dream as y'all can see I am NOT even hardly making a mess I'm doing so good look at that it's so pretty so I've got my two coats down and now I'm gonna put some Pro FX quick dry top coat on it to get it to dry down all the way because I am gonna do some stamping you guys know I've got to do some stamping messing with the camera I'm sorry so here we go we're gonna get this pro FX quick dry top coat on here a nice generous layer and here we go what's going on what's going on we need more we need more so yeah I am being rather generous you know capping my tip and there we go but I bought this whole collection I think there were six in the collection I will have a video up on them I will be swatching the whole collection I don't know what's gonna come first I have no idea um, there you go beautiful beautiful polish today I'll be using XYL24 one of the acrylic stamping plates and the Nicole diary and s03 the gold stamping polish my bundle monster monocle stamper and my Fabernail scraper I figure while my nails are short I'm gonna use these little acrylic plates as much as I can because I love them and because the images are smaller when I do these images on my longer nails when they are longer I have to you know have to match them up line them up and do some double stamping a lot of times so I'm gonna take advantage of these short nails so there we go we're gonna get that one lined up and smush it on kind of hard to say but it's it's there I promise and I will have a swatch photo at the end I am cleaning that acrylic plate with pure acetone and a cotton ball it does not hurt them at least these and I got these plates from Aliexpress it was like a set of 24 of them for super cheap like seven or eight bucks or something crazy it was just go check Aliexpress out and check out the acrylic plates they're just you can't beat that deal so I've put this image on my pointer and my middle finger. It'll also go on my pinky, but I'm going to use this other image for my thumb and my ring finger. Mixing it up a little bit, you know, just, you know, how we do sometimes. So there we go. And this, this image has more, it covers more in the gold, whereas the other image lets more of the base color peek out. And I'm really liking doing that. Clean, clean, clean. Wipe it up. Get it cleaned up, girl. So here we go. I love this Nicole Diary Stampin' Polish. It is one of my favorites. I love all of the Nicole Diary Stampin' Polishes. They've just... And I have a feeling here before too long, I'm going to have to repurchase some of the colors because I have really put a heart on them. So there we go. Tapping it down. I love how you can still see that hollow just screaming out from under that, that design. <laughs> and here we go with our last one for the pinky. And I really like this one too. Squiggly craziness. So there we go. I'm going to clean up some of this excess with tape. And today I'm having good luck with it. Um, you know, some days, I think it has to do with how long I let it dry. And I think on this one, I didn't let it dry too awful much. I just finished, you know, doing the stamping, and then I started getting it off with the tape. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and do a little bit of cleanup. And I am using some acetone additive that my friend Connie sent me. It's from Lillian Gardens. 
I'm going to highly recommend this stuff. I forget to talk about it all the time, but it's great. It keeps your you know, nail beds from being just so dried out and your cuticles from being too dried out. Today I'm going to be topping this one with some posh top coat. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know that posh top coat is my favorite top coat, especially for topping stamp designs. There we go. Yay, yay. Here's Woody. See, he didn't let you down. He showed up this time. Woody's in the house. So, I've got my swatch photo coming up here in just a moment. You can see that purple flash. Yay. So, there's my swatch photo. I'd love to hear what you think about this one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.